I want to share with you guys my top five favorite reform pastors of all time, and this is either dead or alive. Now, I have a top five favorite, and you probably know that who these men are simply because you've been subscribed to my channel for so long, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you anyway. <clears throat> now, just like you, you probably have your favorite pastors, but you probably go to a specific pastor based on it, or when you're looking for a, a particular topic or an area that you're interested on. And I believe that these five men deal with certain things better than the others. Although they're all well-rounded preachers, I believe that they all have uh, greater qualities in certain areas than others uh, in regards to topical settings. Uh, so I'm going to start off with my number one, and that would be John MacArthur. I believe he is the greatest pastor of all time, and especially when it comes to expository preaching. I believe he is the best topical expository preacher of all time. Uh, when I just feel like hearing the word read and explained, I go to John MacArthur. I think he does that the best. Uh, number two would be R.C. Sproul. When it comes to exegesis, I believe that his critical explanation or interpretation of the text by way of the chalkboard has been one of his greatest tools throughout his ministry. <clears throat> the way he uses the chalkboard, especially in the earlier years of Ligonier, I'm talking about like in the 70s when you know they uploaded the uh, VHS quality sermons that he preached, and he would use the chalkboard, and it would be kind of like you were like in an algebra class. And the way he connected the dots by using the chalkboard and setting up the points, which ultimately led to the, the, the conclusion of what he was talking about, I think he does that the best. It's, he's been such a great help in my life. <clears throat> Number three would be Paul Washer. And in regards to uh, prayer and trusting in God, I think that Paul Washer does that the best. Um, his sermon, if you have not watched his sermon, it's called God Always Provides by Paul Washer. I think it's one of the greatest sermons in regards to cutting off the arm of the flesh and trusting solely in God for your needs, in which basically he opens up his diary and he recounts what he went through in the early years of uh, Heart Cry Ministry when he was in Peru, just the struggle, how he never let anyone know of his need. And at this time, Paul Washer actually had friends who were real millionaires. Uh, he could have reached out and asked for support, but he never did. He never let anyone know of his need. And um, check, he talks about how just checks would come in at the right time, the right amount of money after uh, him and his missionaries had been gone weeks, sometimes months without any funding. And just at the right time, the right amount of money would come in. And uh, it's just a great encouragement to trust in the Lord. So if you have not watched that sermon, God always provides. That's a must watch by Paul Washer. Now, my fourth would probably be John Piper in regards to anxiety. Again, John Piper is a well-rounded preacher, but uh, I find myself seeking him out in regards to anxiety uh, when I'm nervous and, you know, when I'm dealing with uh, uh, trusting the Lord in those times. I believe John Piper has some of the best sermons on anxiety. Uh, and fifth would probably be Vody Balcom. Not probably, definitely would be Vody Balcom. Uh, his defense of the gospel in regards to social justice and homosexuality has just been an amazing help to me. The notes I've taken on a lot of his sermons uh, in regards to those topics have been amazing. Um, he's got a sermon titled Gay is Not the New Black, which has been such a help for me. Um, so these are my top five men of God who I follow, who I listen to. And I believe that if you follow these men, you can't go wrong. They will be an amazing help in um, your growth and your sanctification. So thank you for listening.